Hey everyone, I'm Tim Cadlick and today I wanted to give you a quick tip about how to ignore issues that Sneak discovers. So sometimes Sneak may find a vulnerability that has no patch or update available, or a vulnerability that for whatever reason you don't want to currently address. In this case, you may want to tell Sneak to ignore the vulnerability for a while so that it doesn't keep bringing it up every time you test. Now, if you're using Node, you can ignore vulnerabilities using Sneak Wizard, uh, which will run through all of the different vulnerabilities it discovers, and for each one, give you the ability to upgrade, patch, or ignore for a period of 30 days. Similarly, the GitHub integration will also give you the ability to select a checkbox to ignore a certain issue for 30 days. But let's say that you're using, uh, not using the GitHub integration, not using Sneak Wizard, or you wanna take a little bit more control and specify a different period of time for Sneak to ignore a vulnerability. Uh, in that case, you can use the Sneak Ignore command. So let's say we run Sneak Test, and we get back our list of all the vulnerabilities and our dependencies. Now this remote memory exposure vulnerability, uh, there's no direct upgrade that can actually address the issue. Uh, there's a patch available, but let's say that for whatever reason we've chosen not to uh, apply the patch today. So what we can do is we can grab the ID of this vulnerability, that's the last section of this URL, and we're gonna copy that. And then we're gonna run the sneak ignore command. We're gonna pass it the ID, uh, that we just copied of the vulnerability. That tells Sneak which vulnerability we're talking about. We're gonna set an expiry uh, date of 2017, September 1st, let's say. Uh, now again, if we don't specify this, this is not a required field. If we don't specify this, then it's going to default to a 30 day period. This lets us take a little bit more control so that we can make that period longer or shorter. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna give it a reason. Uh, this is helpful in case any other teammates come along later and wanna know why did we choose to ignore a certain vulnerability. So in this case, we're gonna say that there is no direct upgrade available. Uh, patch needs team review. So if we run this command, uh, you'll now be able to see that it's created a .sneak policy file. And if we open the, pot, the file, we'll see that there's an ignore section with the vulnerability that we just specified, uh, the reason that we gave it, and finally the expiration date. So now if we were to run sneak test, that vulnerability, that remote uh, memory exposure vulnerability is no longer going to appear in our list, uh, and it will not appear again until after September 1st when sneak sees that the policy has expired. Uh, so there you go. If you want to have Sneak ignore an issue for a while and you want to have a little bit more control than the default 30-day period provided by Sneak Wizard or the GitHub integration, then the Sneak ignore command has you covered. Uh, thanks for watching and stay secure.